dear friends, my dear masters, my dear guards, welcome to all of you for the Holistic Wellness Program, 21 days, the day two. Before starting this program, my sincere pronouns to my beloved Guruji, Ramarshi Patriji, my great pronouns to Father Babaji, and all the pyramid masters, and all the astral masters. So my dear friends, today, the second day of uh, 21 days, we are going to start now. This is a one day, this is a one hour program. In the one hour program, first 45 minutes will be meditation, as I mentioned yesterday. Last 15, 20 minutes will be sharing of wisdom. This is the, this is how the program schedule. The first 45 minutes, we go into deep meditation, friends. So yesterday, I already explained the pressure of meditation, how to do the meditation. If at all any newcomer join today also, you can learn. <clears throat> you can learn from the instructions what we give today also. We'll try to give you the brief about how to practice the meditation. Then we'll go into meditation. Okay. So if already who already know the meditation, please sit in the meditation. Start doing meditation. Okay. And who doesn't know meditation, newly join today. So please follow my instructions, and then you can also start the, the meditation. Today we are going to the deep meditation. Of course, after a few minutes of guidance. Then we'll get into the something uh, deep into a deeper meditation with the help of uh, a melodious music. Okay. The sweet and smooth and melodious music will be starting. Then everybody can enter into and everybody can go into the deep conscious levels and you can enter into the deep meditation state. Okay. So now just observe me. I'll be showing the posture, posture of meditation. So this is a posture of meditation symbol. Just clasp the hands like this. Clasp, clasping, this is called clasping hands. And keep on your thighs, okay, like this, and sit straight. Sit straight. Your back must be straight. Okay, sit on the chair or a sofa. If you sit on the chair or sofa, you just cross the legs on that underneath. You have to cross the legs like this, okay, right. And try to make uh, around you as much as dark as possible. No, there should not be much light, and there should not be any sounds coming from outside. Try to sit in the same place every day to join this Zoom session and practice the meditation. So that will give more impact and uh, better results. Okay. Now, you can also drink one glass of water before starting the meditation. And you have to remove the spectacles. No more spectacles needed in the meditation time. Okay. Right. So, <clears throat> friends, so let me repeat. Cross the, clasp the, clasp the hands, cross the legs, sit straight, back erected, then you can uh, remove the spectacles and sit straight. Now, finally, close the eyes. Gently close the eyes, friends. Everybody, please close the eyes gently. Gently close the eyes. Someone is asking to speak in Hindi. This is not the Hindi session. Hindi session is separate. Okay. Please join the Hindi session at, uh, it starts at 9 o'clock. 9 to 10.30. Okay. Right. So, my dear friends, everybody, Sit with the closed eyes, close your eyes, all of you, close gently and then slowly start observing the peaceful breath, slowly, naturally happening, what are the breath is happening within you, the natural flow of breath, keep observing it, go on observe it. Whatever natural breath is happening, <clears throat> no kumbhaka, no rechka. No forceful exhalation or inhalation at any cost. There is no control on the breath, my dear friends. It's just a natural, natural flow of breath. You just keep observing that. Closing the eyes, keep observing natural breath, which is happening at the nose tip, especially. What are the breath going in, coming out? Uchwasa, Niswasa. In breathing, out breathing. Be with them. This is called Anapanasati meditation. Ana means in breathing. Apana means out breathing. Sati means be with them. So you are going to be with your in breathing, out breathing. That's what meditation is. Meditation means observation of the breath. Observation of natural flow of breath. Be with your breath, my dear friends. Do not open the eyes until I say, okay, keep doing meditation. 
keep observing your breath then slowly slowly your thoughts will get reduced as you go on observe the breath what happens your thoughts will reduce there are three laws of meditation there are three laws of meditation there are three grand happenings of meditation the first grand happening the first law of meditation says when you are with the breath when you are with the breath your thoughts will reduce your mind becomes empty that the first law says be with your breath empty your mind make your make your thoughts zero the first law the second law of meditation when the thoughts become zero when the mind becomes empty then you get huge amount of cosmic energy through your sahasrara chakra brahma randra that is the second law it means once your mind becomes empty you receive huge amount of cosmic energy from the cosmos that is the second law that will energize your etheric body or energy body pranamaya kosha the third law says what is the third law third law of meditation it says that when you receive huge amount of cosmic energy into your pranamaya kosha etheric body that is going to energize the entire the energy body also on clean the is going to clean all the nadis present in the energy body that's called nadi suddhi the cleansing of all the nadis which is going to continuously happen as you go on receive the cosmic energy every day through your meditation and also through your sleep majorly through meditation mainly through meditation whatever the huge amount of energy what you receive in the meditation state that is going to clean the entire 272000 nadis present in the energy body that is the third law when the cleansing of all the nadis happens successfully then it results into the activation of the kinetic potential of your third eye power that is called activation of third eye trinetra third eye my dear friends that happens naturally you don't need to force it just go on to the meditation the final culmination the eventual result of your meditation is the activation of your third eye that is also called divya chakshu that is also called soul eye that is also called divine eye it's also called sixth sense my dear friends it will be activated naturally with the practice of with a consistent practice of daily practice of your meditation three hours meditation two hours sajana sangatya three hours meditation two hours swadhyaya one hour sajana sangatya 3 plus 2 plus 1 if you follow this formula every day your third eye activation will happen as soon as possible as per your the purva janma samskar based on your past birth past life progress the past life experiences in the spirituality be with your breath my dear friends go on observe your breath do not think anything no need to think anything in the meditation don't allow any thoughts from outside don't generate any thoughts by yourself just stay your stay with your natural law breath be an observer a grand observer for your breath which is going in which is coming out be a great witness for your breath be a grand observer for your breath the natural flow of breath which is happening how are you sit on the bank of the river 
and observe the currents of the flow of the water the flow of currents of the water however it happens the same kind of observation you are just sitting on the bank of the breath just go on observe the breath that's all don't interfere with the breath don't involve with any of the variation of the breath do not alter the breath don't control the breath natural breath which is happening just keep observing that is anapanasati meditation my dear friends we'll also switch on the mild music now if you are bombarded with any kind of thoughts if at all then just observe the or listen to the music which is going in background that helps a lot it will bring a lot of peace inside it will try to reduce the thoughts as much as possible it will evacuate your mind very soon as fast as possible with the help of music just listen to the music or observe the music all the thoughts will be vanished that's how you can get the empty state of mind once you get empty state of mind again go on with the be with the breath only music let the music go on in the background not a problem that's going to strengthen your soul it's going to give a lot of bliss to the soul the music in a food for the soul my dear friends
Take both hands, place on your eyes for 5 more seconds. Gently touch your eyes with your both palms. Keep on the eyes for 5 more seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Slowly remove your eyes. Slowly open your eyes and remove your hands. Let's. Gently open your eyes. Take your hands. And come back to the breath, your body awareness slowly. Come back to the body awareness and surrounding awareness slowly. Yes, friends, please come back to the normal position. <clears throat> come back to the body awareness. Yes. Friends, so wonderful meditation. We are done with the melodious music. So just let's clap for ourselves. For a few claps for ourselves. Wonderful meditation we have done. Yes, yes. Right. So my dear friends, my dear masters, my dear gods, today's our spiritual wisdom is about pyramid power and pyramid meditation. What is pyramid power? What is pyramid meditation? Let's understand this. Friends, pyramid means uh, we will always be reminding ourselves about the pyramids in the Egypt, basically Egypt pyramids, isn't it? So this Egypt pyramid is located in the village called Giza and the town called Cairo. Cairo is the city capital of the capital city of uh, Egypt, basically. It's located there. The pyramids are this uh, one of the seven wonders of the world, my dear friends. Also, these pyramids are widely known in order to store the mummies that means the dead bodies basically dead bodies of the king and queen king and queen in the egypt country so you all will be knowing this especially right friends so this is this way there are some facts and figures about this pyramid okay basically pyramid is a a sacred geometry try to understand pyramid is a sacred geometry so which will which will have the a special unique characteristics of receiving whose amount of cosmic energy from the cosmos Try to understand these pyramids, especially one of the biggest pyramid in the Egypt, which is constructed basically in the in the area of thirty acres, and the base of the pyramid, the width and the, the width and height of the pyramid. If you see, the width of the pyramid is basically base of the pyramid is seven sixty eight feet, and the height of the pyramid is four fifty feet, my dear friends, which is constructed in thirteen acres. Okay, that is the biggest pyramid, one of the biggest pyramid in the Egypt. Okay. Now, so if you try to understand what is the importance of this pyramid, the first of all, the word pyra plus mid pyramid is 
pyramid, the, the word pyramid is divided into two parts. The two words are there. The two words are pyra and mid. Pyra plus mid is called pyramid. So pyra means what? They say pyra refers to fire, that is agni. Mid means in the mid. So mid means in the middle, in the center. So it means a structure, <clears throat> a structure which has got highest amount of fire. Fire means the highest amount of energy. We can in our words, you know, in the spiritual, in the spiritual terms, we call it as a cosmic energy, basically. So the highest amount of cosmic energy present in the middle of the a particular structure that is called pyramid, my dear friends. Okay. So in this way, if you try to understand any pyramid you take. At the center of the pyramid, at the center of the pyramid, or middle of the pyramid, there will be huge amount of cosmic energy preserved, collected. So collected and it will be stored over there. So that particular center of the pyramid, in, in general, from the base of the pyramid, and uh, it's about one third height of the pyramid. So that particular place, it is going to store, it is going to have preservation of huge amount of cosmic energy, whatever it receives from the cosmos. Okay. So that particular place is called inside the pyramid that place is called the king chamber what is it king chamber so on the king chamber if you go and sit you know in the just inside the pyramid if you go and sit inside the pyramid at the at the level of king chamber you receive huge amount of cosmic energy without any effort my dear friends you don't need to do any special effort just sit over there so you receive a lot of cosmic energy however you receive cosmic energy in the sleep i mentioned yesterday when you receive a good amount of cosmic energy during the sound sleep, especially, then you will be refreshed. You'll be energized very fast, right? So that's a, that's a purpose of the sleep. That's a nature gift for us. Similarly, when you go into the meditation, as I mentioned today also, three laws of meditation, I referred to you. So please, uh, again, uh, revise that uh, three laws of meditation. So try to revise and understand also. So the what three laws of meditation says, when you go into deep meditation, you receive huge amount of cosmic energy to, through the Sahasrara Chakra or Brahmarandra, my dear friends. So that's how the cosmic energy is present everywhere. What is cosmic energy in simple terms, in layman terms? The cosmic energy is the, you know, the, uh, the uh, summation of summation of all the planets, star system, galaxies. So all the, the entire, whatever the celestial bodies. So all this entire, if you see the entire universe, right? Their cosmos spreads. So that is the source of creation. Cosmic energy is the source of creation. Who has given the birth to it? So it has been it has been generated, it is it has been originated by the creator. Creator means we can say supreme intelligence, Paramatma, God, divine, whatever we, whatever the name we call it as, right? So our creator has has created this so-called cosmic energy. With the cosmic energy only, all this entire whatever you see, physical objects, non-physical, like you know, subtle things, some of the subtle things, some of the visible things, visible and non-visible. So basically, we have something, uh, some of the things we can vis visualize, some of the things we can see with the naked eyes, right? But many of the things we can't see with the naked eyes. So those also exist. So that means visible, non-visible, and uh, all these things, everything will be formed or everything is created, everything is man manifested. So with the help of this so-called the cosmic energy friends, that means cosmic energy is present in every smallest particle in this universe. Okay. It is present in you, in me and in any object, living and non-living, everywhere it is present friends. So that's why the cosmic energy is universal energy. It's also called universal energy. It is present in the entire universe, friends. So this cosmic energy, especially it, uh, it, it enters into our human body in the two occasions, especially in the two occasions. One is, so when you go into the deep sleep, you receive the cosmic energy. Number two is, when you go into the deep meditation, you also receive the huge amount of cosmic energy through the Brahmarandra. Brahmarandra is here. Sahasrara Chakra is here, see here, on the top of the head. Through this, what happens when you go into deep meditation, you receive huge amount of universal energy or cosmic energy. That is the second occasion. And also, friends, other than this, you also receive, receive abundant amount of cosmic energy or three times more energy, three times more energy than the you know normal meditation. If you do meditation underneath the pyramid or inside the pyramid. So that means what? Meditation, meditation you do underneath the pyramid is called pyramid meditation. Pyramid meditation is three times more powerful than the ordinary meditation or meditation you do anywhere else, my friends. Likewise, 
<clears throat> your nature meditation three times powerful your full moon meditation three times powerful right the meditation you do nearby the water resources the water element it will be three times powerful so like this friends you, you do meditation in the dense forest so it's going to give you three times more energy that's also powerful meditation likewise friends always we should utilize wherever pyramids you you find out wherever you, you come across the pyramid go on go on do meditation go on spend your time one hour two hour three hour right so meditation inside the pyramid that is going to energize you like you know in a tremendous way abundant cosmic energy you receive it then what will happen entire all your physical diseases what are the physical diseases you are suffering everything will be vanished my dear friends so why because you are receiving huge amount of cosmic energy it is going to re-originate or sir, regenerate all the dead cells in your body. What are the dead cells? Why do we get the disease? The cells are dead. The, what is what are, which are the cells? Body cells, friends. So the body cells, because of our non-holistic lifestyle and non-holistic food, so because of all this uh, adulterated food, adulterated lifestyle, what happens in our physical body? Basically, this you know basic five elements of the nature, the five elements of your physical body, right? So that all that will be imbalanced basically. Secondly, Vata Pitta Kapha will be created because of the imbalance in the five nature element. So not only that, because of this uh, adulteration, many of the chemicals, unnecessary chemicals you are giving to your physical body, that's how you get into the diseases, isn't it? So not only that. So because of your so non, uh, you know, so-called the the unplanned thinking, or you can say negative thinking, more of negative thinking, right? So more of negative thinking which goes in your mind. All through your mind, throughout the day, whatever you do, that uh, that tends to that tends to become as a stress in your in your mind, friends. So that stress will be that stress will be inducing lot of chemicals, negative chemicals. You can say stress hormones in your physical body that is going to hamper your health, my dear friends. That is why stress has to be removed. That is why every day when you are doing meditation, you will be removing all the stress. Whatever the accumulated stress, you will be keep on cleansing day by day, day by day, right? Every so far, two hourly ones, three hourly ones, you can go on cleans easily with the help of meditation. Then what happened? The any kind of stress hormones will not be generated and your health will not be hampered at the same time. So all throughout all throughout the day, you will maintain the so so much balance in your thinking and the so much the great positivity within you and positivity think positive thinking and the great productivity at yourself, right? So many benefits, friends. So many benefits with the because of meditation. Everything is a benefit. Every minute, every whatever the time you spend, right, with yourself. So that will be so everything will be priceless. If you do into if you go into the meditation path or if you go into the spiritual path, if you don't go into the spiritual path, what happens? Every second, every minute is a misery for us. It's a misery, it is a panic situation. We'll be always under the stress and anxiety and fear and depression. A lot of things go on, right? So without knowing ourselves, we'll be enter, we'll be entering into that kind of tendency. Basically, that kind of tendency in the behavior, it go, go on happens. That's why we suffer day in, day out and we get into the lot of unnecessary diseases, friends. That all these physical ailments are because of your own, the lack of mental energy, psychosomatic diseases and the lack of holistic lifestyle, lack of holistic food. So, friends, with this, what happens is what I'm trying to say is if you receive this cosmic energy in the pyramid, inside the pyramid, three times more powerful cosmic energy, you get it to your physical body. That is going to cleanse the entire system. Whatever your past life karmas, whatever the present life, because of the present life, present life deeds and actions and thinking, whatever you do, negative, negative deeds, negative thinking, negative speech, whatever you do, right? Because of that, the many of the, the blockages will be happened in the energy body. Those also will be cleansed. Those also will be cleansed with the help of meditation. With the help of meditation, especially in the, underneath the pyramid, you receive three times more powerful energy. Then you can clean all these things very faster. Then you, once you clean your entire, all the nadis, 2 lakh 72 thousand nadis, as soon as possible. Of course, it depends upon your past life practice also, friends. If you are in your past life, if you have... If you are, if you have happened to practice more and more meditation in this life, in this life, what happens is you can grow faster. Your soul evolution, your soul journey will be so faster, friends. That is, spiritual journey will be so faster. Otherwise, also, if you keep practicing now onwards at least, okay. So then, what will happen? Your growth will be faster, and then you receive a huge amount of cosmic energy that will solve all the problems, friends. So that is why source of this, especially friends. 
for us the source of happiness what is the goal of human life friends the goal of human human life is stay healthy and happy that is having bliss blissful life having blissful life all the time so with the help of having the great health within us right that means staying happy and healthy that is the mantra of life that is a human goal of life right that, that's what we know but at the same time what is the source of this happiness for you the great amount of energy should be within you which energy cosmic energy also we can say the other in other words we, we also call this a prana shakti pranic energy friends so this pranic energy or cosmic energy within us it should be abundantly available when it is abundantly available what happen you have no diseases you have no diseases you have always you know you have a lot of mental the peace within you you have a lot of bliss within you you are always happy happy in your mind that is happy in everything whatever you do it will be in a great it will give a great results friends in your life because of you are doing every work you are trying you are thinking and doing and speaking out of your lot of peace within you right lot of happiness within you so that's how the entire life will be transformed because of meditation friends so this, this is the way all the every life every living being on this earth planet my dear friends living or non living beings right everything is surviving basing on the cosmic energy this is also very very important point so in the principles of pssm friends we have five principles as i mentioned yesterday also one is meditation these are, these are the basic foundational principles one is meditation practice of meditation second thing is vegetarianism become a vegetarian third one is uh, swadhyaya Satha. fourth one is sajana sangatya the final and fifth one is pyramid power use the pyramid power you do the pyramid meditation my dear friends this is the fifth foundational principle of pssm pyramid spiritual societies movement and also mahatar foundation my dear friends now you just observe you are <clears throat> I think hope you might have seen the pyramid, right? So by this time or somewhere, you might have definitely seen the pyramid, but I will show you a small pyramid for you, right? Just for the sake of the simple pyramid, a four-inch pyramid. See here, four-inch pyramid. This we, we generally keep on the water bottle, right? For the water bottle recharge to energize the water. In order to drink the energy water, we keep this pyramid. This is called four-inch by four-inch pyramid made up of GA steel, okay? Likewise, the biggest pyramids are there. Okay, just an example I'm showing. See here, this is, a, this is called base. It's called base. This is a slope. This slope is a base. And uh, the center, what was center from the apex to the base, that is called height of the pyramid. Height of the pyramid, base of the pyramid, slope of the pyramid. Okay. This is how it, it has to be made. But one thing is very important, friend. This pyramid, you cannot make a, like a pyramid-like structure. You can't make and you can say that it's a pyramid. Please use it. Don't do that. So you can't do that also. There's no use of it. So what is more important then? So try to observe only one point when you are purchasing pyramid or when you are using pyramid or when you want to, so, you know, in your lifetime, so you want to do more and more experiments with the pyramid and go on and use the pyramids. So only one important thing is, see, this is a base. To the base, the slope is there, no? the slope or inclination, right? So that should be having one angle. That's called the golden angle of the pyramid. That is how much it should be? 51 degrees, 52 minutes, 10 seconds. Please note on this point, okay? That is the angle you must maintain with this one, right? How do you calculate then? You see, I select this as a, let's say, I select this as a 10 feet, okay? Now, my calculation for this slope, what should be the slope? That means the edge, this called slope, the edge, right? This edge, how much length it should be here? This should be 0.956 into base, okay? That means 9.5 feet, isn't it? This slope. Then what must be my height? Height should be equal to 0.636 into base. That means 6.36 feet height. So that's a, that's how you have to calculate the pyramid and construct yourself. You can do that. Okay. So these are pyramid friends. These are importance of pyramids, which I try to explain you. And you see here, just observe our nose is a pyramid here. See, see the nose. So the nose is the this apex, apex of the pyramid. Then it has come like this, it is ended like this. That means within us. Within us, nose itself is pyramid. You try to observe our body, physical body, like this. So in the top, it is narrow, then going down, bulging. Then the underneath, like up to Moladhar, if you see, there's also like a spreading. So like the body itself you now looks like a pyramid, pyramid structure. And go to the temples, Garbhagudis. See here, the, the Gopra, the Garbhagudi will be like, you know, if you, it's, as it go on upside, then it will be try to narrow down. 
okay the garbagood is also like a pyramid isn't it so likewise himalayas have you, have you observed the himalayas Himal most of the himalayas will be like this pradham kailas you have seen the pradham kailas so that's where you know the iswara iswara resides so that pradham kailas also in the form of pyramid basically any any himalaya mountains you see observe it that will be in the form of pyramid so this way you need to understand friends and dimensions of materials what are the materials should be used for the pyramids so try to always understand material is irrespective friends so whatever the material you wanted you can use there is no particular you can use for example you can use the uh you know so-called copper uh then aluminium then the cardboard then the paper then the <coughs> cement cement you know you can use rcc so roof uh, concrete uh, you know so whatever the concrete based say, pyramids also there so likewise you can ir the pyramid power is irrespective of material please note this point but what is more critical is the angle the pyramid angle is highest you know that is a critical component which you need to maintain which, which you must achieve friends that what, that's what you need to remember friends these pyramids especially the pyramids are catalyst for the cosmic energy that means wherever cosmic energy you want to receive more see for example in the chemical reactions we use one catalyst isn't it i want to do one chemical reaction what i do i use catalyst in order to speed up the chemical reaction isn't it similarly if we use this pyramid for the cosmic energy you see huge amount of cosmic energy for example a rectangular structure or a circular structure structure any structure you go inside you don't receive this much cosmic energy because this particular structure, the pyramid, yeah, that's why friends, in Egypt, how do you find these pyramids? The, in fact, there is one um, great spiritual scientist, okay, Edgar, 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 uh, Edgar Kaysay. So Edgar Kaysay, uh, what, did, what did he say? He said that these pyramids are constructed about 10,000 years back. Who has constructed normal, uh, the normal human beings never constructed these pyramids, friends. The other from the other uh, so-called the you can say from the other planets otherwise from other star systems some aliens came here they are called pleiadians pleiadians they constructed this pyramid otherwise it's impossible friends have you if you notice the giza pyramid so the the each stone size is about half a half a ton to the two ton the two ton size of the pyramid the easy uh, the each uh, stone which they use in the construction of the pyramid such a height 450 feet height lifting this uh, you know so called two ton uh, two ton stone how it how it was possible those days not even having this much technology but one thing is very important friends please not make a note of point okay important point those days they used to use thought power just by using thought power they lift they lift any kind of a weight to any 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 amount of height my dear friends so that's how the thought power has in, having that kind of power even nowadays also teleportation what is teleportation it means moving one object from one place to other place just by using your thought power, right? So that is the power of our thought, okay? So that's how they were doing, friends. So this uh, so this, uh, this way, if you see, pyramid is having highest amount of benefits. Physical benefits are there, spiritual benefits are there, which if you go on, use it, friends. So definitely you will be getting highest amount of benefits. So in the pyramid, you also remember, it is a source of negative ions. You know that? Negative ions. What is the, power, what is the effect of negative ions? Friends, what will happen is negative ions, the presence of negative ions inside the pyramid atmosphere, if you go and sit there, you receive more, more number of electrons. The more number of free electrons you receive to your physical body. Every atom of your physical body will receive highest amount of free electrons. That is how you will be re-energized, you will be refreshed, you will be rejuvenated, my dear friends. That's how you achieve the, the positive and great health. So now the physical benefits, what are the physical benefits? Basically for healing, you can use the pyramid. Many of the hospitals nowadays, they construct pyramid. Okay, they construct the pyramid in the hospital. So any patient who take it into the hospital, if it is a pyramid structure is there, so he will be healed very faster, right? And education, students can just, you know, wear the pyramid on the top of the head and they can start practicing meditation, right? The pyramid, the, for the education purpose also you can use, isn't it? All their classrooms can be constructed in the bomb pyramid. So naturally, cosmic energy is abundantly available within the class naturally abundant amount of cosmic energy available without your any interference and intervention so much amount of cosmic energy available within the so called you know hospital everywhere then what will happen it will cure it will cure the patient very faster that's all and even students they get highest amount of concentration memory power all the benefit they receive 
if they are inside the, the pyramid class and you know they are going through education or are a small pyramid keep on the head the top of the head while reading while writing you know doing homework so children can practice that definitely they also receive huge amount of cosmic energy that's what happens is so now preservation that's another benefit of physical benefit of uh, basically benefits are physical and spiritual both in the, with the help of pyramid so now we are discussing about physical benefits now so if you, you, have, you have to observe the you know, preservation purpose if i put anything if i put for example vegetables fruits or any other you know grains anything if i keep inside the pyramid maybe i make for example 2 feet by 2 feet pyramid i try to use it as a preservator or a storage right you know in my house then what happens if i keep any item inside that that will be as it is it will be intact it will not be decayed it will not be decomposed it will not be destroyed friends that's the purpose of pyramid pyramid will preserve everything that's called preservation and energy is the water friends so if you have water bottle or water can within your house just put one 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 feet by one feet or nine inch by nine inch pyramid, nine point five inch by nine point five inch pyramid, one pyramid it can be plastic pyramid iron pyramid not iron pyramid copper pyramid aluminum whatever it just keep on the top of the can that pyramid so it's going to energize i showed you just now on the water bottle in your on your table you know in your office in your house wherever on the water bottle keep this pyramid just for one hour it will recharge it will energize the water friends if you drink that water you can cure all the diseases easily friends like that the farming in the farming also natural farming in the farming also we provide the pyramids friends the Matar Foundation is going to provide all these pyramids, whatever I'm talking about. I'll post the, you know, the group on a small leaflet, so which contains about 15 type of pyramids, okay? You can use for many purposes. If your eyesight is, no, eyesight is not good, you know, the eyesight is having a short defect or long defect, then you can have one eye pyramid. Then if you just keep it and wear it and then do meditation for half an hour, it will try to cure the day by day, day by day, the healing will happen. So likewise, friends. So many working people, while you know you are working in front of computer for long hours, keep the pyramid on the top of the head and then keep working, right? So it will provide you the great amount of healing. So healing and as well, it will energize you. Then you can work, you know, more effective way and not to be affected by multiple radiations which are happening by various gadgets, right? The friends, spiritual benefits. What are spiritual benefits? So as I told you, sit inside the pyramid and do meditation. That is three times powerful. That's called deep meditation. You'll get it. You'll get into the deep meditation. All the thoughts will be evacuated. You will, your mind becomes empty so faster. Three times faster. You will come out of the turbulent mind under the underneath the pyramid if you do meditation. And other thing is astral body experiences. You get outer body experiences very faster because with this pyramid. And also, friends, finally, your third eye activation will be so faster because of the pyramid. This is very, very important, which you can remember, third eye activation will happen very faster. So likewise, friends, we also have a lot of pyramids we constructed. Basically, because of our uh, Guruji, so what happened is the Pyramid Spiritual Society movement have constructed many mega pyramids big pyramids with the help of relentless effort of our uh, beloved Guruji. So almost like lakhs of pyramids came in India as well abroad also in different countries also. In fact, the first time on the, on the pyramid, Osho has done a great work, right? He has constructed a pyramid in Osho, Osho Rajanesh, the, the ashram which is located in Pune. There is a pyramid which is which has been constructed in the way back, you know, 1990s itself. Friends, before our Guruji ventured into this, so he has already constructed, that means he was using also the pyramid for spiritual purposes, that is for meditation, my dear friends. So such is the case and we have mega pyramids. In, in Bangalore, outskirts on Kanakpura Road, we have biggest pyramid, that is 160 feet by 160 feet. We also have mega pyramid in Hyderabad. Kartal, that is about 180 feet by 180 feet. Like this, friends, if you want to find, just find a one day for spending the Pyramid Valley International in Bangalore, then you can do very good meditation. In fact, in Madhar Foundation, our uh, institution, Madhar Foundation, organization, we have about eight pyramids, about three feet by three feet pyramid. You can sit underneath the pyramid and go on practice meditation. So it will be very powerful chambers we have constructed. So in Mother Foundation also, my dear friends, right? So like this, so there are many, you know, the many type of, many benefits of pyramid meditation, especially when you do meditation underneath the pyramid, you will get higher number of benefits, friends. That's why you need to understand. So in this manner, if you see, so there are great amount of benefits and uh, there are many, many number of pyramids available. Even in the, in the crystals, especially if you use the crystals in the, inside the pyramid threads, 
you will get a lot of benefits. What will happen when you use the crystal inside the pyramid? If you fix one crystal on the apex of the pyramid, you receive whatever the receive you whatever the energy you are receiving, right? Cosmic energy that will be again amplified. That will be get amplified. That is the purpose of a crystal using under uh, along with the pyramid. That's what I understand. So now, if you do meditation, especially underneath pyramid, what are the great benefits, friends? Definitely, there are a great number of benefits. So we'll be, so we, uh, friends, we are now already 9.15, right? 9.16. We'll finish this, we'll, we'll finish this uh, class faster as soon as possible. We have lack of time. So now, let me finish, let me, uh, you know, give you the idea about pyramid, benefit, pyramid meditation benefits, okay? So after that, so we'll have a question of answers and then we'll close the session. Now, what are the benefits of this pyramid meditation? If you do meditation underneath the pyramid, your astral travel, that is outer body experiences, will get very faster, friends. That's very important, right? Because you go into deep meditation, then you will release, the astral body will get released out of you, then you get all these outer body experiences. And Kundali energy gets activated very faster. That is also one of the greatest benefit of this pyramid. And also Susumna Nadi. So you, some of you will be knowing Susumna Nadi will be activated very faster. That is also very important. And also communication with the higher beings. So uh, what are the higher beings in the other worlds, right? The spiritual worlds, spirit worlds especially. You can communicate easily if you do practice of meditation underneath the, may, may, underneath of the pyramid. You start practicing, definitely you can achieve this faster. And telepathy gets activated. Your thought power will be tremendously improved and there so that you will be able to communicate with any person, whichever the person, you know, you wanted the response, right? You just release the thought, it will tremendously work and then bring the response from any person. That's called telepathy, communication to uh, communication through the thought, right? Through the thought power. The intelligence will be sharpened. That means, so what are your intelligence, like, you know, the great amount of intelligence within everybody will be tremendously improved, increased because of meditation under the, the pyramid. And finally, friends, finally, self-realization will be very, very easier and faster. That is, soul evolution will be tremendously faster and you are going to uh, enter into the so-called self-realization or moksha or mukti, you will achieve very fast, my dear friends. These are the pyramid meditation benefits. Okay. So please use the pyramids in your day to day to day life. So wherever possible, in office, home, wherever possible, try to use these pyramids just of keeping on table, even any negative vibrations in the house, it will be wiped out if you start using the pyramids. Okay. These are the wonderful the benefits of Pyramid power, pyramid meditation. Today we discussed, right? So please follow in your day to life, friends. Thank you so much. Thank you, friends. So five, five more minutes. Just have some questions. Then we'll be closing session, right? Sir, is, is there any like link, like Amazon link or any link for the pyramid? Uh, uh that what is that for pyramid from uh -huh. the your foundation? So what pyramid you, you wanted pyramid? Uh, yeah, yeah. Is there any link like uh, like uh, Amazon or any link for like international? No, Amazon, Amazon, we don't have link, but you can purchase something. You know, Amazon also there are permits available, not from our foundation. Uh, from your foundation, is there any link? Uh, so uh, from our foundation no. also we can we can send you, but it may be long. You know the distance may be long, but we will try. So whichever the pyramid you select first, okay? I will send so you. The, I, I will is send there any link? one uh, small brochure. Okay. Just select from them. Hmm? So, like that three by. So, can you please send the any picture like the like you have a like yeah, pyramid yeah, example in your the yes. brochure brochure will be sent to you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so go through that and then you will find uh, you know if at all whichever you select you know accordingly we will try to ship to you. Hmm? Okay. Right. Yes. Friends, anybody want to ask any question, please unmute yourself and ask the question. Uh, sir, my, my question is, yeah. uh, are there any scientific uh, experiments or evidences uh, yeah. conducted based on this? Very much, very much done. DRDO DR has done a, I can send you that uh, white paper. Okay, okay, fine. Sir. DRDO has done a wonderful experiment on this. Mm -hmm. okay. In fact, at the corona time, they have used our services. Like uh, in the corona time, 
we yeah. used pyramid power for curing the patients oh nice very nice. very fast very fast healing happened you know many patients uh, you know they went uh, happily outside okay thank you likewise thank you. drdo worked with our uh, pssm and uh, done experiments i will send you that report in the group please follow that okay fine sir thank you thank you yes so any more questions please so another 2 minutes yes so friends so do you need okay yeah so do you need to like do the like this anapanasati meditation only to activate the kundalini energy or do you need to everything anapanasati no other no shortcuts no long shots only anapanasati meditation straight only one that is anapanasati only practice that okay and how like so how long do we, before do we need to eat meal like before doing the meditation how or what time is best uh -huh. sorry time huh? time time and do we need to eat anything before meditation no 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 see one thing is uh, we teach in the other karana class and all pranayama techniques you follow the pranayama techniques you do some vyayam that is yogasanas pranayam so that much is enough so maybe half an hour to 45 minutes or one hour no one slow walking so walking exercises physical exercises surya namaskar yoga asanas and pranayam so these things before starting meditation uh, in the brahma muhurta brahma muhurta if you do meditation is much better otherwise also if you do any day also any time any time in the day is on, is good for you no problem there is no restriction for a time or a age nothing for the meditation anybody can do for example 5 5 years is to 85 90 years till the last breath also they can do meditation even yeah, if we eat patients if we, yeah if we eat food immediately can i do meditation yeah if if we are eating the food we can can i do like yeah, med your, your meditation itself is a you know your eating food itself is a meditation how can you do that so the only one thing you are the entire your thought process should run you know with respect to food only okay no more no more other thoughts don't allow any other thought in your mind okay so that becomes a meditation okay thank you okay even walking walking is a meditation talking is a meditation if i am talking to you i should not get any other extraneous thought then my talking my verbal communication itself is become a meditation that is living in the present moment we call it as a mindful mindfulness meditation okay right okay thank you friends thank you so much dhanyawad to all of you let's meet tomorrow i mean sunday is holiday let's meet on monday thank you so much